What's going on guys, The Betterman Project here, and today we are going over 7 hidden messages inside the book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, that you might have missed. If you read the book, you know that the book talks about understanding assets and liabilities, the spending patterns of the poor versus the rich, and how the rich use corporations to avoid being taxed like a regular worker. And if you haven't read the book or you need a quick refresher, click on this video on the top right hand corner for a quick refresher of the book. But there are a few things that Kiyosaki sneaked into this book that you might have missed that are incredibly important for understanding the world of money. So let's get started. Number 1. Money or the lack of money is a result of your emotions. Think back to your financial life. How many of your financial decisions were emotional and how many were carefully thought over and practically planned out? As much as we want to think that we logically make every decision, many money choices are emotional decisions that we try to justify logically. For example, many people go in debt to buy a nice car or an expensive house to impress others. But in many cases, we justify these decisions by looking at all the benefits while ignoring many of the downsides. If we want to buy a nice car, for example, we might justify it by saying that the car has extra airbags, therefore is safer or is more aerodynamic, therefore more fuel efficient. But the reality is that we already wanted to buy the car before we found ways to justify it. Kiyosaki talks about the two core emotions that control most people's financial life. Fear and Greed the fear of not having money makes us panic and drives us to desperately seek money, typically from a job. And before we even get a paycheck, we begin fantasizing about the things that we can buy. So greed starts to sink in, and as soon as the paycheck comes, it's gone. This emotional spending brings us back to the panic of not having any money. So the fear and stress of not having money rises up again. And the cycle starts all over again. We feel fear, we seek money, we get paid, we get greedy, we start spending, we blow our money, and we're back to square one. This is what Kiyosaki calls the rat race. These two emotions keep many people running in place for years without any change in their financial life. So being aware and taking control of these two emotions in your own life and taking the time to plan your finances ahead might save you a lot of stress, money, and help you build a stronger financial future. Number 2. Work to learn, not just to work. Most people take jobs on whatever is available, and in certain instances, we might have to if money is tight. But something that not many people talk about is using their jobs to learn a skill and not just to make a simple paycheck. When you think of a job, you think of going to work and getting paid. But something that Kiyosaki briefly mentions in his book is that using jobs as a way to learn and practice new skills is more valuable than the paycheck you make by having a job. If you learn highly valuable and highly monetizable skills at work, they might be very profitable for you in the future. On top of that, you get to make a paycheck while learning and practicing your skills. So next time you're looking for a job, it might be a good idea to figure out which ones will be able to teach you important and valuable skills. Number 3. The rich do not work for money. They work sometimes for free to build systems that make money. This is where the whole concept of assets come from. If you take a look at most successful business owners, they work very hard, sometimes without pay for a period of time, to build systems that are going to work around the clock so eventually they don't have to. While most people work to get paid once, rich and successful people work to build systems that can generate money for them. Whether they're building a brick and mortar business where they will need to build a team of employees to run the business or they are building an online business where they can take advantage of automation systems. They focus on building a system that will work without them even if this means working without getting paid. If they don't, they will continue to spend the rest of their lives working and exchanging their time for some money. Number 4. You come first. I'm going to say something that is not going to be so nice to hear. The money that you work so hard to make is not really yours. If you think about your financial life, chances are that once you get a paycheck, you begin paying things like your rent, your bills, your living expenses, your car, your taxes, and spend a little money here and there, and if there's anything left, then you save. The money that we make isn't really ours if it's out of our possession. It is up to us to make a decision to pay ourselves first. See, most people, especially those who make a decent paycheck every month, tend to spend their hard-earned money on luxuries like a nice car or a nice house. But if you take a look at some of the richest people in the world, they actually do not pay for their own luxuries. They get other people to pay for them. More on that later. 
Kiyosaki goes as far to say that even when he was in debt and he had a pile of bills to pay, he still paid himself first. This is a concept that isn't revolutionary or innovative. It's a simple concept that can make a huge financial difference in your long-term financial life. This is something that many of the most successful people in the world talk about, from Grant Cardone saying that even when he was a millionaire, he still spent money like he was broke, to Gary Vaynerchuk, who saved all of his money working on his dad's liquor store, to invest in companies like Facebook and Twitter. Number 5. You become what you study. If you ask the average person if they want to be a millionaire, they are likely to say yes, of course. But yet, the majority of the population don't spend time learning and studying how millionaires became millionaires. We become what we study and what we spend our time on. If we spend all of our time watching average TV, interacting with normal average people, then it is not very likely for us to become millionaires. Any skill requires time and dedication. So if we want to become financially successful, we must learn and study those who've already done it. Number six, become wealthy, not just rich. See, most people go to work or build a business that generates a paycheck. And in many cases, those can be pretty big paychecks. There are a lot of people who make hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars who are still not wealthy. This is because there's a difference between being rich and being wealthy. The difference comes down to how they use their money. Let's take a Hollywood actor for example. They can make millions of dollars every year making movies. So since the actor is a millionaire now, he spends his money getting himself a nice mansion, the most expensive watches, and a few supercars. Depending solely on his acting career, the actor is only rich, not wealthy. Because his money depends on his labor and he spends his hard-earned money on luxuries which might make him look rich, but in reality is making him poor. On the other hand, those who are not just rich but wealthy don't use their hard-earned money to buy luxuries. Instead of buying a multi-million dollar house or a nice car, they use their money to buy or create assets that will not only increase in value but also generate enough cash flow to buy their owner's luxuries. For example, let's say that you want to buy the car of your dreams, but this car comes with a pretty big price tag. You will have to spend $1,400 a month to own this car, which means you have two options. You can use the money you make through your job or your business to buy this luxury and use your own harder money, or use this money to invest in a cash flow generating asset, like real estate for example, that will make you an extra $1,400 or more per month in cash flow while also increasing in value at the same time. The second option will not only provide you with enough cash flow to buy the dream car for you, but also allows your net worth to grow simultaneously since your original investment is increasing in value every year. And once your dream car is paid off, not by you, but by your tenants, you will continue to receive that passive cash flow every month. As Kiyosaki says, my assets buy my liabilities, and his assets continue to grow simultaneously. The rich make money. The wealthy use their money and other people's money to build money-generating empires. Number 7. Become financially literate. If you read between the lines, a constant concept that you will find in the book is the importance of becoming financially literate. This means understanding the basic structure of how money moves in the world. It can be hard to be in control of your financial life if you don't understand things like assets and liabilities, income and expenses, ROI, gross or net revenue, overhead costs. A very good practice is to analyze your income and expenses every month. This way, you become completely aware of where your money is coming from, how much is leaving your bank account and where is it going, and how much is left for saving and investing. As you get a hold of your own finances, you can start moving forward to the other concepts as needed. If you're building your own business, you will need to understand your overhead cost, your cost per acquisition, payroll, gross revenue and net revenue, and how to protect your assets by using legal entities. Now, you don't have to learn all of that at the beginning. A good way to start is to understand your current finances. In the comments below, let me know what was one idea that resonated with you the most about this video. And do you know how they say that the average millionaire has seven streams of income? If you want to learn what they are and how they work, make sure to check out this video about the 7 streams of income the average millionaire has. And I will see you in the next video.